did the world get so serious? Nowadays, it's just about taxes and paying my bills and showing up to places on time. All the adult stuff I always wanted to avoid. So I started thinking to myself, in this black and white world, how do we add a little color? A little spark. And then it hit me. What's better than laughing at other people's expense? I mean, you found that a little funny, right? So today we're bringing you five things to add a little chuckle to your day. Five second rule. Oh, come on guys, you're gross. It's a cookie, obviously. I mean, what better way to freak out your roommates than with some Nutella biscotti that look like duty? Lucky for me, and for you all watching, this is actually a very easy recipe to make. So let's do it. You're gonna take some Nutella and stick it in the bowl. For some reason, I thought this was gonna like dump out really easy, but it's not, so I'm gonna take this. Good job, Hannah. Oh my God, you're doing so good, I know. Now, you're going to take some brown sugar. What, am I being pranked? <laughs> then take some regular sugar. Mm. Delicious. If you guys don't know the proportions or the measurements for this recipe, don't worry, I don't either. And that's why we have a recipe card for you at the end of this. Now you're gonna take a mixer and mix it all up. Holy Cool, 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 cool! Woo! Yeah? Yeah, we are going to add two eggs and one egg yolk. Yeah! So now we are going to mix our dry ingredients. We've got some flour right here. Add in cocoa, baking powder. I'm mixing it with a spoon. So now you're gonna take your dry ingredients and dump them into your Nutella. Yes. There's a lot of mixing in this recipe. Here we go, now we're gonna add some milk. God, it looks like one giant turd. So this is the consistency that you want it to be. If it is still runny, that's disgusting. Add some more flour to it. And now if you really want to drive the poop joke home, and I do, because I'm me, you could just add some peanuts to the mix. I'm such an adult. Mix it on in in the poopy mixture. Peanuts, yeah. Feel free to just stick your hands right in the bowl and start forming your poop log. I kind of want to do like a poop emoji. So if you roll it into a log and then like twist it up, that looks like poop, right? Yeah. Just molding the poop, because I'm an adult. Little nugs. So if you guys tried this recipe yourselves, please leave some comments, send me pictures, show me what you made. I want to see your shapes, your poop shapes. Great, so now that we're done molding our poop, you can stick them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees. Oh yeah. Are poop jokes funny? Yes! Depends on who you ask. Are Nutella biscotti that look like poop delicious? Yes, yes they are. Ah, nothing better than a nice long shower. You just hop in, contemplate life, think about that book you're never gonna write, imagine what you're gonna have for dinner. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> mm, spicy. Oh, did you think I was gonna eat this? No, it's soap. If only I could follow this up with some celery. Oh. Yeah, you can find a ton of these on the internet. Seriously, they got wings, celery, french fries, whatever you're looking for. I don't really know the person who invented this, but to that person I say, thank you. This one's real. If I had a dollar for every time I thought about weirding somebody out, I would have a lot of dollars. So it's 
it's a good thing we got some great prank hacks for you guys. Now, if you're like me, you're already a gorgeous specimen, but you have your makeup bag on you for occasional touch-ups. What if everything inside of that makeup bag was edible? That's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some edible deodorant. Just take some melted marshmallows. Struggle bus city per usual. Add some powdered sugar and some cornstarch. Oh, this is fun, this feels good. So I know it's a mess, but that's most of the fun. Just, yeah, knead it, knead it nice, knead it good. If you guys really wanna see me make a mess, uh, you should go back and check out the Don't Try This At Home episode because I assure you, it's a mess. So once you're done making a mess, it's like almost like pizza dough or like that clay that they used to give you in elementary school. That's the kind of consistency I feel like we're going for here. I'm just gonna pull it off in pieces and just smush it in there. And you can kind of mold it to the shape of deodorant at the top so the next time you guys are at work and you're like, ooh, I don't smell so great, you can just whip this out, make eye contact with your nearest coworker and uh, take a bite. It's actually really good. Great. Next up, we're going to be making chocolate mascara. So just take some melted chocolate and a little bit of condensed milk, not too much. Mix it all up. Really put your arms into it. Just load it on up into the syringe. So just open up your mascara and insert the chocolate. Better than I'm doing. Ugh. Why is this always so hard for me? Next time you're at the bar and someone's like, wow, you're really pretty, you can be like, yeah, I know I'm really pretty. So you can just do like a touch up on your mouth and stick it in your mouth. Okay, the last one we got for you guys is blush. So you are going to take some melted pink candy melts, some powdered sugar, and some cornstarch and mix it all up. Now this one's gonna be kind of similar to the deodorant. You want the consistency to be on the thicker side, because we're about to cram it into a blush palette. It's starting to go from like liquid to like gum. Great, just smooth it out. Make it look beautiful on your palette. Let it harden up. And there you go, edible blush. We made this one earlier, we let it harden overnight, and this is what it is going to look like. Oh, it's just me, I'm just, Blushing my face up, adding some color to my cheeks. Mm. Ah. And so when you're done making your makeup bag filled with edible treats, feel free to clean up. Don't worry guys, it's just Listerine. I think. All right, so if you've made it to this part of the episode, either you love a good prank or you've been pranked and you're looking for a way to get revenge. So for those of us with a little devious side of us, there's Dude, your car! It's this app that lets you Photoshop a picture of your friend's car to make it look like it's been dinged or banged up or just like completely exploded. And then you can save the picture, text it to them and be like, oh my God, your car's on fire! But for those of us who don't have friends with cars, don't worry, I got something else for you. Did you know that you could access anybody's alarm in their iPhone without knowing their passcode? Yeah. So the next time your friend like falls asleep at a party, you can just grab their phone, swipe into the control center, and change their alarm to, I don't know, how's 3.20 in the morning sound? Just make sure you lock your door tonight. <laughs>